Hey there, it's Jenny, and I am here today to share with you a Traveler's Notebook scrapbook layout that I created. I am using the Coco Daisy Cactus Moon collection. It's so much fun, so many beautiful colors. I have started with my photo that I already printed, and then one chipboard piece that was sort of the basis for this layout, like what I'm planning this around, because it's about friends, and the photo is about friends too. So I decided that that giant tag would be perfect because it has lots of arrows pointing, and so that would highlight the pocket card that I wanted to select, which I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I pulled them both out. Now I'm looking for a patterned paper that I can use as a background for one of my pages. There's a lot of gorgeous ones, but I settled on this watercolory geometric print. I thought it would be really fun, and it's also got a sort of mixed feeling, right? You've got the organic nature of the watercolor and then you've got the linear nature of the geometric pattern. Now the other side is just going to be white cardstock so I'm trimming that down. Both are four and an eighth inches by eight and an eighth inches. I am going to adhere the photo down towards the bottom but I'm going to leave a little bit of room down there. I want there to be just a tiny bit of a white edge down there. Now I'm flipping through the die cuts that come in the kit. I'm using, I'm looking for kind of a label. I'm also looking, so you see that right there. And then I'm also going to need more die cuts. So it's a good thing to flip through those because then I get a pretty good idea of what is included. So now these die cuts actually have a sticky back. All you have to do is pull off the little backing. Sometimes that's easier said than done. I'm getting used to life with shorter nails since I have removed my longer nails and that can be a challenge when I'm not used to that. So it's just taking me a second. Normally it's actually super simple to remove these. All right, so we've got that little label down there. I don't know if I'll put the date or what I'll put on there, but we'll see. All right, so I decided to go with no words needed. I really liked the high contrast and I really liked how it looked with both the arrows on the tag and the just kind of the whole thing. So now that's that chipboard that I based the whole layout on. So I'm going to put that right there, but I want to mat it on top of one of these clusters of cactus. It's just, or succulents. They're, it's really pretty and it just sort of makes a great little cluster. So I'm going to remove the back and stick it down there and then I will put the chipboard piece directly on top of that. I love it. I love how that turned out. I think that it's the perfect way to pair some different things together, together and give a little bit more dimension. So now the stamp set from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit is really cool. It's got some super cool elements in it. So I am going to ink up this border with this navy blue ink from the stamp market. This ink is my favorite. They, she has a great variety of colors. They are wonderful in my planners. I don't have bleeding or really much shadowing to mention. And I just, I'm a big fan. I also now am doing the little phrases on, or the little phrase on top of that border. And then I will add the title from these foam stickers. They have a nice dimension and they're using a beautiful script. So that part's awesome. Now I'm going to put it directly on top of or above the little borders that I stamped. I love the colors. It's just all so cool. I wasn't 100% sure how I would feel about this kit because it had so many succulents. And yeah, I like succulents, fine. But after working with it, I absolutely love it. The colors are just so pretty. Now look at that, so fun. All right, so now I have printed out the journaling on the clear sticker paper that I really love. And I'm just trimming that up right around the journaling so that there's not a ton of extra. It's just not really necessary. And then I'm going to adhere it right above the title. It's, I'm loving how this layout is coming together. I think it looks really cool. I just use that little tool to stick down the edges. You know, sometimes like when you peel one corner up, it's a little, sticks up a little bit. So that little scraper works great. I've honestly, I found it one day in my stash. I have no idea where it came from. All right, so now I'm just going to add a couple more little border stamps up at the top, and then that's it. We're all set. 
Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much, and make it a great day.